The journey began more than 50 years ago. The seed of a thought that was planted decades ago kept growing over the years, blooming and blossoming a little more than the previous year. It all began in France with St. Louis-Marie de Montfort. He was an educator and a noble priest throughout his lifetime and always put others before himself. He always had the vision to teach and educate the poor children. So he began charitable schools for boys and girls with the aim that schools are like nursery gardens in which children, like little trees, are pruned and trained with care that they may bring forth and grow good fruit. After him, his legacy was carried forward by the brothers of St. Gabriel who established institutions in Canada, Singapore, Malaysia, Mauritius, Spain, Italy, France and of course in India. The brothers of St. Gabriel are committed to education and their fundamental mission is to help poor children. To fulfill this mission, a number of brothers have sacrificed everything. The Monfort Saga in India began in 1903 to educate the youth and as being a French congregation, the brothers landed in Pondicherry first. They traveled from South to Central and from Central to North India and established eight different provinces. Yerkod, Trichy, Hyderabad, Pune, Delhi, Ranchi, Northeast, and Bangalore. The brothers then progressively expanded to other parts of the country and today mark their presence in 37 countries. The Distinguished Society administers approximately 158 institutions in India solely, including schools, technical institutes, orphanages, and institutions for the differently abled. The journey continued, and Brother John of Sacred Heart was contacted by Archbishop Angelo Fernandez with the proposal to start a school in Delhi, and he offered a land of 6.41 acres at Wazirpur, Ashok Vihar. The foundation stone of the school was blessed and laid by Reverend Dr. Angelo Fernandez, Archbishop of Delhi. Under the very able leadership of Brother Abraham and Brother Joseph Regis, along with six lady teachers and 120 students, Montfort School Delhi was born in Scalp Tents. Montfort received the enrollment of its first student, Miss Sujata Kapoor, with Mrs. Wheeler being appointed as the first teacher. For the next seven years, the school grew under the leadership and vision of Brother John of Sacred Heart, rightly considered to be the pioneer and founding father of Montfort School. After many sleepless nights, Montfort's palatial building was completed and inaugurated by Dr. G. S. Pathak, the former Vice President of India. This was the period of stability, development, and setting off the right tradition and values for the institution. The first batch of students who took the board exam passed out with flying colors. The result was 100% and academic excellence is kept up to date. Reverend Brother John was succeeded by Reverend Brother Matthew as the principal. A firm disciplinarian and an able administrator, he strengthened the system by consolidating various programs for the development and growth of the institution. The well-organized house system, Artex, Olympiad, and basketball coaching was started during his tenure. He left the school in the hands of the liberal-minded and a true cosmopolitan brother, Vijay Mani. The next two years post his joining was very crucial for the institution due to the communal riots in the country. However, Brother Mani organized various staff interaction programs and in-service seminars for the teachers to help them cope with the changing teaching methodologies and to promote positivity in the challenging time. Brother Emmanuel P.J. ascended as the principal. During this period, the senior wing building was constructed and the mini zoo was also started. Various different cultural and educational activities, excursions, the trend of morning assemblies and unit test examination system was established during his tenure. Thereafter, Brother Philip joined Montfort Delhi as a principal on 1st July 1988. During his tenure, the second and the third floor were constructed. He introduced computer classes and the playway teaching method for primary classes. He also initiated a pilot project of bookless education at the pre-primary level, which subsequently spread across other schools in Delhi. Brother Philip bade farewell to the staff in 1992, and Brother Joes took the charge as the principal with a clear vision and foresight. He initiated many academic advancement programs. The most noble of these were the literacy classes that ran in the evening shift of the school of the underprivileged students of the neighboring areas. Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny also joined to help out in academic goals. In the year 1995, Montfort achieved another milestone by completing 25 blessed years and around the same time, 
a swimming pool and gymnasium was also constructed and the foundation stone was laid on 29th April 1995 by the honorable former chief minister of Delhi Sri Madanlal Khurana a young and dynamic brother Joy Joseph took over as the principal and initiated the process of restructuring on the modern lines by adding science park and various co-curricular development activities his dream of the architect finally came into the completion of the third block of the school along with a primary block with all state of the art facilities and had a distinct administrative block in addition following him brother pj emmanuel joined as the principal and carried on the advancement of the institution by adding two more floors at the brothers quarters under his able guidance monfort nursery was started at shalimar ba 4 km distance from the monfort school ashok vihar brother kk monachan took over the baton as the principal of the institution in 2009 he ensured an expansion of facilities and infrastructural changes which were marvels from the point of view of both educational and aesthetics as the digital revolution swept the world brother monachan introduced smart learning into the curriculum and installed cctv for students safety For further developments a splendid statue of the founder St Louis Marie de Montfort and tennis court was built trip to NASA and cultural exchange program with Sri Lanka was a much loved memory for the Montfortians Brother Humpy Alex took charge of the school and known with an innate leadership caliber he has brought several changes in the institution multifarious ecologically sound sustainable and school beautification projects have been set up and accomplished under his adept guidance under his able leadership The school has also organized two all India level scouts and guide camps at its campus. Today, the institution is adjusted as one of the two safety model schools in the country. Brother Alex has been accorded with excellent leadership awards. On the front of the international involvement, Brother Alex has also launched a cultural exchange program with Papua New Guinea and Russia trip was an enthralling experience for the teachers and the students. Soon after that, due to COVID-19, we faced major education disruption. However, with firm and strong leadership, Brother Thumpy Alex shifted the entire system to online mode to achieve academic continuity. As the pandemic prompted to innovate and adapt to online format, regular trainings were organized for the teachers and technological advancement took place. Not only that, Brother Alex came forward for the noble cause and provided ration kit to the underprivileged. Over the past 5 decades, Monfort has been progressing leaps and bounds and the institution has won various prestigious awards for the relentless effort made by the school head to spread the true essence of education far and wide. School has also got an ISO certification for maintaining quality parameters. Not only that, we are also proud to share that our teachers have been awarded and recognized by CBSC too. School has fostered a number of toppers, scholarship winners, but the most preeminent is All India CBSC topper Sukriti Gupta, who scored 99.4 percent, and she was also recognized by the former President of India and the Delhi CBSC topper Nimisha Chaudhary with 97.2 percent, who was felicitated by the former Chief Minister of Delhi. The institution strives not only for academic excellence but also to lead the students to develop their hidden talents and abilities through a series of extracurricular activities and students are continuously showing their mettle by achieving awards and recognition both nationally and internationally. The school has a rich sporting tradition as well. Today, Monfort sports team are going strong with a new generation of champions in the making and numerous achievements both on national as well as international platforms with an impressive collection of trophies and medals and has earned the school niche status in this area. Monfortians make headway in all arenas from sports, civil services, science and technology to beauty and even the glamour of the cine world. In these 50 years the school has nurtured young minds not only to be successful but also to be good human beings. After completing 50 years of world class education of unparalleled success in academics, sports, cultural activities and with strong alumni base, Monfort Senior Secondary School Ashok Vihar witnessed an event on February 1st 2020. the inaugural function of the golden jubilee celebrations the occasion was graced and attended by many distinguished guests along with former principals and brothers of the monfort family the grand event commenced with the lighting of the jubilee lamp followed by the flag hoisting by the honorable chief guests 
This was accompanied by lighting of 50 lamps by the teachers, parents and helpers to mark their contribution to the success of the institution. Later, the Golden Jubilee logo was unveiled by the archbishops amongst the gathering, which was tagged along with the release of 50 Jubilee balloons and four pigeons into the air, signifying peace and glory. The Holy Mass was celebrated and cultural extravaganza included soul-stirring musical renditions in the form of choir songs, followed by an innovative dance drama performance prepared by the students of primary class that artistically portrayed the growth of the school from its inception to its present. In addition to the various ventures envisioned for the year, a Golden Jubilee Memorial Building and new St. Louis de Montfort statue was structured and inaugurated. These 50 long years journey belong to all the teaching, non-teaching and retired staff, students and alumni for bringing the school to these heights. To the parents for their partnership in achieving academic goals and to all those who contributed in their little way to make Montfort what it is today.